Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review. Today I'm here to tell you about the lyrics from Paradise Lost at the Mill on July 16th on Nuclear Blast. This album has 16 tracks, 74 minutes in length, and this is the second live album that they've released this year with a caveat that this one was recorded during their live stream in the fall of 2020. So it's definitely gonna sound different. It's definitely gonna feel different. And let's start off with that. I always feel like Paradise Lost is a band that's very hard to capture in a live setting in terms of, of the essence of the band. When you see them live, when you listen to a live recording, the two things are not necessarily coming together as one. At least that's my experience, at least that's my perception. There's something that you can really only achieve when you're there at the show and you connect with a band through the music, through their performance, through their stage presence. And you're never really able to translate that to a live recording. What, what they did here was they understood exactly what they had at their disposal. So how can we make a show that feels as organic as possible, that feels as close to who we are as artists and what we do when we hit the stage, considering all the limitations that we have. I like the road that they took, perhaps the road less traveled. A lot of bands during this pandemic have followed what other bands are doing as far as live streams are concerned. And I don't really feel like they're necessarily doing something that goes towards their strengths. Perhaps at points it goes actually towards their weaknesses. So by creating a live stream that doesn't have any fans, they didn't try to pretend that there were fans or they didn't try to perform like if fans were there, I feel like they were going towards their strengths. This feels like a jam session. This feels like something that was recorded in the studio, even though it's live, it has a sense of, of being more organic, more fluid, more connected to the band and not necessarily forcing them to be something or someone who they're not. And because of that, the overall performance that you're gonna get on this live album feels a little bit unique. It feels different, but once again, it has that paradise lost aroma that you normally get when you go see them and you're able to look at them in the eyes and really connect through their, through their performance. Now, once you look at the set list, we could look at, at any set list that they could put together for this specific performance. And there's always gonna be somebody who's not gonna be happy because there's gonna be a song missing here and a song missing there, me included. There's definitely two or three tracks that I would have liked to see on the set list that they weren't there, but they have such a deep discography, they would have to play for two and a half hours in order for, for them to really feel like every single fan is gonna get exactly what they want. So considering what they put together across these 16 tracks, considering how much of their new record they included in there, and I thought that was a very important element to include as many tracks as possible from the new record, because this was really a chance for the fans to see those songs being performed live for the first time, I thought they did a good job. The set list is balanced. There's a little bit of new, a little bit of the old, a little bit of the in-between. So there's a little bit of everything for everybody from the different eras of Paradise Lost. So I think the history of the band is really well encapsulated in this set list. While still, as a fan, I felt like a few songs here and there could have been added, but how are you gonna remove something in order to add something else? It's really difficult. Once again, considering their discography, you really have to keep that in mind. So looking at that, looking at the new album, looking at how good the new album is and, and how much of, of the history of the band is included in the set list, I have to say I'm, I'm comfortable with what they did and I like the overall fluidity that this set list has. Once you get into the sound, I thought it was really strange because the first track, the opening track on this on this live performance felt a little bit wonky. It didn't feel right to me. Almost like they were they were doing sound check with the first track and they were not really uh, at the point that they needed to be for the recording to go live. Once you got into the second song uh, of the of the performance and, and from that point forward, I felt like the sound quality, the performance itself start to feel a little bit more robust. It start to feel a little bit more like Paradise Lost and start to gain a little bit of this aroma of this DNA that the band has. And you start to see even the differences from track to track in order to keep the essence of the live tracks alive, but still changing ever so slightly. There's a few nuances and a few tracks here and there that really allows the song to be what it is, but have a little bit of a different taste uh, a, a different take, if you will, on it without changing too much, but just changing ever so slightly, just changing enough for the song to feel fresh, to feel new, to, to give something different to the fans. So I like the sound on this recording because once again, it has that jam session feel. I just don't like that first opening track. It felt a little wonky to me. I start to get really worried if the whole sound is gonna go like that throughout the whole performance. It didn't, 
it, it kind of fix itself by the second track and then from that point on you start to understand exactly what you're going to get out of this performance which is not a one size fits all sound wise each song has its own uh, DNA has its own presence both sonically and vocally which is really important to keep the DNA uh, of these songs alive and well but still change enough to make the performance more unique or at least more memorable from that perspective overall I like how they put this together. I like everything that they did. I like how they encapsulated, but perhaps the most important thing is, I, I like that they didn't go against the grain. They tried to create something that fits them, that sounds like them, that is them, and not something that it wouldn't work for a band like Paradise Lost. Like I like the fact that this is an album that you press play and it's business from the first all the way to the last track, you're gonna get one song, you're gonna get another song, another song. There's no talking, there's no interaction because there's nobody there to interact with. So it's a much different style, it's a much different approach, but one that still brings that doom and gloom, uh, melancholy of Paradise Lost to the forefront across every single song. So it's, it's a very interesting recording, it's a very interesting performance, one that suits the band better, in my opinion, than an actual live recording. I think you're gonna get more out of them in this setting than you would in a regular live album. This is it. This is Paralyzed Lost with At The Mill out July 16th on Nuclear Blast. Let me know your thoughts on this recording. Do you have favorite songs? How did you feel about the set list? Was it everything there that you wanted to be there? Uh, is this an album that's gonna be part of your Paradise Lost discography? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care, guys.